Thrift, thrift Gators. How's it going? Finally, some people are coming on. So, um, I, how many of you, if somebody will answer, how many of you uh, sell on Merch by Amazon or Etsy with the Printful integration? Anybody? So what if Etsy with Printful integration, Printful, it's a basically like a drop ship, uh, kind of like a drop shipper for Etsy, but you make the designs and then you upload them to Printful and then once it sells on Etsy, it, they print the shirt out and send it to your customer. So it's... Uh, it's really awesome because you can make the design. I mean, it's it's similar to Merch by Amazon. It's a little slightly more complicated, but uh, it's really nice because they ship pretty quickly and they do a good job. And, and you, another great thing that's even a little bit better than Merch, it costs a little bit, but one thing that's even better than Merch by Amazon is that you can add your own... Uh, I forgot what they call it, like a flyer or something, in with each of your shirts. So technically, you could start an email list with that, um, or offer your customers discounts. I mean, there's a lot you can do with it. I'll have to look at that. I sell eBay, but haven't used Printful yet, or Etsy, but haven't used Printful yet. Yeah, hey, I actually, um, sorry for the shakiness, but I actually have a podcast that I did recently entirely, and, and a YouTube video that shows you how to do it, entirely on how to set up, well, I have one on how to set it up, and then I have another on, like, how to upload a shirt and everything, so check it out, it's, uh, it's really good, it's really informative, um, but I did a podcast episode and a YouTube video on it. Bye, Neric. <laughs> What's up? The Green Exchange, if you're still on here. How's it going? And Juan Enbe. How are you? So, with the Etsy Printful integration, one thing that I've been working on, because that's kind of been my focus lately, is Etsy plus Printful integration. Um... I've been trying to ramp up sales more because I have about a thousand shirts on there. Um, not all unique designs, probably around six or seven hundred unique designs. By Neric, you're the only one. Um, <clears throat> but I have one thing that I've been trying to do to up sales is use, and if you're not doing Etsy Plus Printful, jump on it it's super easy there's a lot of apps I even show you in the in one of the YouTube videos I show you how to design on apps and stuff uh, on your phone it's super simple you don't have to be a designer or anything really you can do it with uh, I mean like text-based uh, designs are some of my best sellers but you don't have to be a designer or anything. And one thing that I've been doing to um, increase sales is doing free shipping. And then, do, and you don't have to do free shipping. But um, And if you don't want to do free shipping, here's another one you can do. Etsy has their own promotions that you can do on there. And I've been doing one that uh, does 10%. Uh, you just get 10% off as long as you spend like over $20. And people are really buying it, buying, buying a lot of shirts on that. Um, and then, then the other thing is, is I'm starting to promote them on FBA Life. What up? 
I'm starting to promote them on Pinterest. Pinterest it can be a huge, huge driver of traffic to your Etsy list. And then I want to start experimenting with Facebook ads because I think that will do really well if I if I can dial it dial it in really well. Um, what is the commission on a sell? Um, so there's a bunch of different shirts that you can use. There's one called the Bella, which is the one that I like. I don't I don't have one on right now, but um, it's like the tri blend. Um, shirts that are really soft and they kind of look like they have like I don't know what to call them but they're just really soft and then you can do like the Gildan 64,000 which is more like this it's like the heavy duty kind of thick shirt and those are eight dollars but the tri blend sorry I got off track the tri blend is I think they charge sixteen dollars for print and everything and so I price them at twenty two which sounds kind of like a lot, but some people price them as high as 28 and still make sales. But I price them at 22, um, and usually on those I don't do free shipping when I price them at 22. But I price them at 22, and I make about five to seven dollars per shirt. With the Gildans, I make more towards seven or eight dollars because I do free shipping. Great Escape, what up? FBA Life, what up? Um. Yeah, that's that's kind of how you do it. You pick the shirts that you want to, and I would suggest if you want to get it or do it, um, like just get a sample shirt because they'll they'll let you get a sample shirt pretty easily, and then you can kind of see what you like and what you don't. Um, and there you, you can get sample shirts even cheaper than the normal shirts. But. Uh, Mufasella says, how are sales on Etsy? I just started merch first added today. Excited. Yeah, man, it is exciting. Um, on Etsy, I, they're about to deposit a $200 check for one week into my account. So it's doing pretty well. Etsy's doing uh, not, not what I want yet, which is more towards the $4,000 a month uh, roundabout or more. But it's doing well. I'm, I'm happy with it, and I just want to keep ramping it up. And I'd like to actually kind of build a brand around it. Uh, that's the that's the ultimate goal is to build a brand around it and uh, sell a lot of shirts and other merchandise. Need to get into merch more. Just have been too busy with wholesale. Yeah. Um, how's how is wholesale going? By the way. Are you like killing it on wholesale? Are you, are you just getting started, uh, kind of ramping up? How's that going for you? I'm curious. Because I've thought about, really seriously thought about getting into wholesale. Uh, I've done a very small amount, but I uh, haven't gotten big into it. Um, but hey, Mufa Sales, uh, yeah, merch is merch is going pretty good for me um, and especially if you can get some if you do your research correctly and then put your keywords in there correctly you can definitely make some good sales I have one shirt sorry to be getting so close I'm trying to look here um, I have one shirt on merch and it's pretty much my only seller right now but it sells two to three a day and sometimes as high as five a day uh, but I am really liking that shirt at least on merch my other shirts not so much I feel like merch is starting to get sort of saturated and I think you have to really go long tail on merch now or come up with like really fresh ideas uh, you just can't go in and and make a design that everybody else is making you have to You just have to find fresh designs, fresh stuff, and uh, make your own designs and stuff like that because it's getting fairly saturated. <clears throat> but, um, oh, one thing that really started driving.
having sells for me on merch is this shirt has been selling consistently at least one shirt a day on average about two to three shirts a day for the past three weeks and then somebody left a review and that's when like I've been selling two to three a day almost every single day now when, when somebody left like a five star review because I think what it does is it puts it higher in the search algorithm for Amazon and uh, it makes you get more sales because of that, which is awesome. I'm full time with one employee that works about 15 to 20 hours a week, selling between 1,500 and 2,000 units a month. Not bad. That's pretty much all I do now. I do now on Amazon. I still do local flips. Sales are bit down right now, but that's because I had to take more money out than usual to buy a house. Ha! <laughs> nice. I love it. That's awesome FBA life. Um, so, you say two, uh, 1,500, 2,000 units a month. If you don't mind my asking, you don't have to answer. Um, what's your ASP? Like, your average sell price? I'm just curious. Oh, and how many SKUs do you have that are wholesale at least? Oh, um, so there's another integration I was just looking at the other day and it's called Printify and it's sort of like a they do fulfillment like Printful does, drop shipping fulfillment. And but they have different uh, it's kind of like a marketplace for drop shipping fulfillment. Like all these different shirt printers can get on there and uh, say, hey, we'll print this shirt. Like they have all these different shirts on there, the same ones that they have on Printful. And it's the same ones that Merch by Amazon uses. Everybody uses them. But you can, I guess they bid on them, or they, it's kind of like a marketplace like eBay or Amazon, and they'll, they say, hey, I'll do this shirt for uh, $8.75 and undercut everybody else, one that's normally like $10. So I'm kind of interested to get into that and try that out. It's called Printify. And I don't know if it integrates with Etsy. I just found it the other day. I haven't really done much with it, but I don't, it, it would be awesome if it would integrate with Etsy. Um, oh, another thing too is Printful will integrate with Amazon if you're not approved for Merch by Amazon. So, And another thing about that, a great thing, is even if you're not approved or even if you are approved and sell on there you can put a lot more keywords into um, into a normal Amazon listing than you can a uh, merch by Amazon listing so that's another plus but uh, I need to do it I, I just haven't yet but I could list all the shirts that I have on on Amazon. Um, I mean, I still could with Merch by Amazon, but I could add more keywords, which is awesome. FBA Life average sell price of thirty dollars. You usually have to be three to four hundred to SKUs. Wow, man, that is that's really good. I uh, I'd love to find some some good wholesale products. I found a few locally. Um, how many supply do you have? Like, is it from, are most of them, are the majority of them from a single or two or three suppliers or are they just from all over? I suspect that they're probably from uh, two or three or four uh, major suppliers, most of your SKUs. But I could be wrong. Oh, Gloft! <laughs> What's up? Oh, 
hey, I've got to show you guys this real quick. If you haven't had this beer, it is one of the best beers I've had in a while. And it's not a craft beer, it's one of the major brands, but they did a really good job with it. It's called Corona Familiar. Just bought a 12 pack, and uh, it's an awesome beer. Love it. It's my favorite beer right now, actually. I work with around 10 suppliers, all manufactured direct. Hey, that's that's really cool. I just I just recently found a manufacturer direct uh, candy supplier, and uh, I've been working with them and listing some some of their stuff on on Amazon, and it's starting to sell a little bit. But uh, that's awesome. Manufactured direct is the way to go if you can do it, if you can find it. And one thing I. I mean, if you if you guys on here have never done it, which FBA Life, you I'm sure you this is probably the way you you've done it. Um, but especially if you and I live in a literally real real quick, I live in a city of 1,500 people. Like I can show you the the population sign when we drive through the city in just a second. But it's 1,500 people. And I found a, a manufacturer in my city. So, if you live in a city that's bigger than that one, you can definitely have. You can definitely find a a lot of local manufacturers and sell a lot of stuff or get a lot of stuff. And one great thing about that is you can work more deals with the local manufacturers than with people you never really see. Um, and you can talk to them directly, which is even better. But uh, look around. Look around your city and look for manufacturers. You, I mean, you, it may just take some riding around. You're probably not going to get on on Google. And, and I mean, you can probably find some this way, but you probably, you're probably you not going to get all the ones just by a search on Google, searching wholesale, blah, blah, blah whatever you want to look for. Um, a lot of times, they're not on the internet. Like, yeah, it's 2018, there's still companies not on the internet. Or very, very little web presence. Um, but a lot. Of, sometimes it just takes some riding around your town and just looking at what's like, what's going on? Where's that, what's that building, you know? And that's kind of how I found the one that that I, I found in my town, but that is my suggestion to anybody who wants to get into wholesale. Um, like I said, I'm not doing a lot of wholesale right now. I only have like one or two uh, suppliers, but I'm sure FBA Life would second that. Um, yeah. Wholesale and it and oh and one great thing about local suppliers is like the one that I'm working with they're not even on Amazon like they are not on Amazon they have no interest in getting on Amazon or eBay I asked them they were like I was like hey are you guys on Amazon and they're like no and I was like well, I can help you out and get you on Amazon I mean there's like huge potential there I tried to like butter them up and everything and tell them what they were missing out on, they were like, no, nah, we're not interested. I was like, okay, can I sell them? Can you sell them to me and, and I, I sell for you? And they're like, sure. And I was like, okay, one other question. Can I have exclusive rights to sell on Amazon? They're like, sure. So that that is one of the awesome things about selling, uh, or I mean, finding a local manufacturer. Now, not all, of, not all of them will do that, but especially in if they're a smaller manufacturer and they don't know anything about Amazon or don't really care to be on Amazon, um, then there you go. I definitely need to look at more local also. The closest one I have is an office three hours away from me, but I found them online. Yeah, locals can be cold mines. Definitely. Definitely. I, w 
was I'm still amazed in the town of 1500 that I'm in that I found a candy manufacturer and they are they're actually a really large candy manufacturer they they sell all over uh, all over the US like a lot all over the US but uh, yeah that's my little golden nugget for wholesale uh, one thing I've learned with one of the first manufacturers that I've dealt with but hey guys I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time uh, I am at the house so I'm gonna get off of here but it was good talking with you guys hey have a good one